Hey, whether you're here from the other channel or you just found this video and you recommended, thank you so much for clicking on it. And I hope by the end of it, you'll consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Okay, so I played against two Sakuras today. I played against one while I was on Colleen and one while I was on Karen, and I lost to both of them. Um, and I lost to, I think, two very specific things that I can remember. So we're going to recreate those situations, uh, take a look at the character, and try and figure out how to beat it. It's not going to be a very long video, but it's going to be a very effective one. So I, I suggest you stick around, you know, <laughs> especially if you have trouble in this matchup. Um, let me go ahead and set all this up real quick. Okay, first things first, let's start with her stand light kick. This is one of the greatest four frame punishes in the game. Um, and it's not because it gives you a ton of damage or anything like that. It's because the range of it look how far she goes and this is four frames so anything that's minus four you can punish with this and because of the range of it like how far it goes you can punish uh minus four moves that some other characters can't even though they have like a, a four frame button or a three frame button and what that four frame punish looks like a lot of the times listen i don't play sakura but this is the one that i usually get hit with is uh is just stand light kick into light dp i'm sure you can burn meter maybe if you have v trigger you can do a lot of crazy shit but this is the one that i get hit with the most is stand light kick dp um this i also get hit by this a lot because you can buffer it so this is another thing that's very strong about her stand light kick is in neutral a lot of people will buffer a dp behind it so if you look on the left there i did a light kick and then you see the dp motion but sakura didn't dp that's because i'm buffering it and that buffer only comes out if this stand light kick touches so you see right there, it came out. Uh, although I, I wasn't close enough to really get all the hits like that. So, so see, it came out because the sand light kick hit. That's why a lot of the times, uh, pretty much at any rank, you'll see uh, Sakura players like do, ra doing like random stand light kicks. It's because they're buffering a DP behind it. Now, another thing you're probably thinking is, what if I block that stand light kick? Does the DP still come out? And the answer is yes. So what you can do um, against specifically this and, and a lot of other characters who have stand light kick buffers is just walk and block. So you can like walk and block and then you walk into their buffer. So you don't walk into it and like get hit. You walk into her stand light kick, block it, and their buffer will come out and then you can get a huge punish. Now that is a lot easier said than done because you might mess it up a few times and you're going to walk into the stand light kick and eat a DP. But uh, as long as you practice it and you know the timing, eventually you'll get it down and you'll be able to, to blow up that stand light kick buffer. Other characters that uh, have that that I can think of right now, uh, I think are Ibuki and uh g i know has a stand light kick buffer but it doesn't go into um like, i think it goes into rush punch or something oh sagat sagat has a stand light kick buffer so that's like a way you can blow it up also um i'm pretty sure akuma stand medium kick gets buffered into uh tatsu or something whatever they usually buffer it into so yeah that's the first thing is this stand light kick i was getting blown up by because i was trying to walk and block into it and i just kept fucking it up um as well as the fact that uh the the guy who was playing against was just standing there pressing this and he was accidentally whiff punishing a lot of the buttons because i was playing colleen um he was accidentally whiff punishing a lot of the buttons that usually i don't get with punish so let me let me see if i can set colleen to do uh stand heavy punch this button usually you're not going to get whiff punished uh for this right just because she's so far away and um it's not super negative so let me, let me see. It's not super active, I should say. So what he was doing is he was like kind of standing in neutral and just pressing stand light kick. And he was at like perfect range. Like see how it fits almost like a puzzle? It fits like a puzzle piece, that, that stand heavy punch into the range where she can just press stand light kick. Oh, messed it up there. So it was like, he was buffering the DP though. So it was coming out. I, I can't do it very well. Like that. He, he must have been a little closer because the DP was hitting. Uh, but that that's just one other thing about this button is that one it's a, it's a good four frame punish and it's a good whiff punish tool as well as you you can buffer right it, it's uh well i fucked the buffer up there so you can buffer it. it it's really good the other thing that i was really getting frustrated with that i don't think you can really do anything about is uh her ex tatsu into activation which is plus like if she activates off the ex tatsu so now she's in my face and she gets like a free mix up because she's plus four so this is just something that you have to deal with, I guess. And that sort of brings me to my second point. I was just losing to those weird Tatsu mix-ups. I, I don't even think they're real mix-ups. I just didn't know which ones were plus and which ones were minus. The important thing to note is that even if this is minus two, uh, it doesn't mean that... Like, it's minus two, which means you can't get a punish, but you can take your turn back. There's a difference there. You, you want to press a button on minus two um, so she doesn't like continuously get free pressure. Uh, the mix-up that you probably usually see that I always falter to is like this one, and then they do like heavy deep or uh, EXDP. But now that I'm looking at the frame data, these are all negative. So 
I'm gonna switch characters. I'm gonna set her to do this, and then uh, I'll set her to do um, Tatsu into EXDP, and then we'll uh, see what we can do about it. Cause I I'm seeing that they're minus, but so I must be like mistiming something and getting hit by it all the time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is set her to do uh, set Sakura to do heavy Tatsu into EXDP, and then we're gonna see what we can press after the heavy Tatsu to uh, stuff the DP, so so it doesn't you know come out at all. Cause it is minus two, so let's see what we can do. Now, hopefully that timing is correct, because if not, then that's going to completely invalidate our test. But it, I think that's correct. So I can jab, it looks like. It is minus two, and I'm plus two. So if I do that, it should stop her from, from doing DP. The only thing is, that jab will get thrown, maybe, if she does the throw. Let, let's set it to do that. Let's set it to do the throw. Uh, we're going to do heavy Tatsu, and then a throw. And hopefully, again, hopefully the timing is right. And that doesn't <laughs> completely invalidate our tip. So yeah, that works too. This is almost just like, um, this is almost just like Ken. And when, when they do like heavy uh, Tatsu across the screen, and then they do that fake mix up where they throw you, where they do uh, EXDP, it's kind of the same idea. You just got to put a button out there. The reason I was losing to it is because I didn't realize they're all negative. They're all like um, minus two at least, I think. Let, let me... Uh, let me just control the bot and we'll take a look at it. Let me turn on attack data too while I'm at it. We looked at it just now, but I just want to make sure for uh, you know future reference. Uh, let me record it. So minus two. That one's minus six. And heavy is minus two. And I think EX was minus two as well, yeah. So all of them are negative. You just have to stick a button out there, I think. If I'm wrong about this too, if that timing is off on the... Uh, recording let me know down in the comments below if you're a soccer player but i think i got it right i think you just got to stick a button out there and take your turn and make sure she doesn't do that fake stuff one other thing to remember in this matchup um you just have to remember her walk speed is really good like her walk speed is pretty fast i wouldn't say it's as good as cammy or karen but it is up there and if she can walk in and out of your button range and then do this like do this and then uh buffer the uh dp behind it you get blown up a lot because that uh, that that's like what higher level soccer players do to me is they walk in and out of my range, wait for me to whiff a button, and that sand light kick will be there. It's like an auto whiff punish almost. And because there's a buffer behind it, the, the DP will will always come out. Like you'll you'll take a little bit of damage every time you do that, and that kind of stuff adds up, especially when she gets into V trigger. Her V trigger damage is uh is pretty large. It, you can get blown up by it pretty easily. But that's all I got for you today. That's all I know. So I'm not gonna pretend like I <laughs> like I'm a master of this matchup. I, I did lose it twice today, and I. I just wanted to lab some of those very common situations that I kept running into. If you enjoyed this one or it helped you, consider subscribing and I'll talk to you again soon.